At least 89 are dead in Joplin, Missouri after a tornado cut through the heart of the city. Rescue crews still searching for trapped survivors. 2,000 buildings have been damaged or destroyed. The tornado touching down around dinner time last night and it left a path of destruction a half to three quarters mile wide. Witnesses spoke of vehicles being picked up and thrown into homes and parts of the city now unrecognizable. Watch and listen to this team of storm chasers as they arrive on the scene just moments after that tornado touched down. This is bad. Oh my gosh. This is awful. I'm sure what that was. This is, look at that. That is destroyed completely. Okay, where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I'd be, fr I'm freaking out too. This is, this is ridiculous. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know where... We're... This was an F4, F5. This was... Dude, the trees, the trees are debarked. Scott, Scott. Scott, the, the trees are... Just follow me. What are you doing? Oh, power line? Well, whatever. We're going to turn around, guys. Oh, my gosh. Pull in next to I can smell propane and gas. Yeah, I can smell it too. Good gosh. gosh. That is freaking ridiculous damage. CNN's Brian Todd is outside of St. John's Regional Medical Center. That's Joplin's main hospital. It also took a direct hit from this tornado. And uh, Brian, I know you're in the town. And when we say that it's affected the heart of this community, the tornado seemed to travel right down 20th Street. That went right through the heart of the town. Is that right? It is, Carol. It moved west to east, right through the center of town, right onto this medical center. You can see the facade of the building, but I want to show you something else. Look, look at these clouds up here. Look at the different... ...between the sky over there, and look at the sky over here. We've got another storm system brewing. And it's amazing how dark the clouds are turning day into night as we speak. This is what people here are really concerned about. This is, you know, kind of similar to the conditions that people saw before this tornado struck. So we uh, may have to take some cover pretty soon. Uh, it did come down the heart of the city. 25 to 30 percent of this city was severely, severely damaged. So uh, the, the destruction that you see, that's how much of the city was affected by that. We've got uh, stuff flowing around here. It looks like it's starting again pretty soon. Look at this car over here. Look at the damage that it sustained. This is a Suzuki, maybe an SUV or a station wagon or something. You can't even tell. Look at the wreckage here. A telephone pole fell on top of it. There's all sorts of debris in the back there. This kind of scene is repeated over and over and over again. And uh, we, uh, we're we getting some severe weather so Brian, right now, so we may have to break cover, off Take cover, okay? Because you're here. making me nervous. Take cover, okay? We will. Okay, take cover, Brian okay. Todd. Thanks. Right. Let's head directly over to Alexandra Steele. So, uh, and Brian showed the dark clouds, right. and you showed me that. And that's right. This is the whole picture of the storm. That's what it looks like with the storm system coming in, those clouds thickening, lowering. There are no tornado warnings for where he is. But you can see right now, this is the radar picture. Of course, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch, and we do have a severe thunderstorm warning for Joplin. And when you look at the radar, you can see heading right now, right into Joplin. And what's most interesting about it, you can see it kind of bowing out. It looks like a bow. What we're seeing there are winds. It's about 60 miles per hour. Hour. Also, hail.
people been reported about quarter size with this. So it is moving east pretty rapidly right now. But you can see where the heaviest rain is. Of course, this area does not need any more rain. In addition to the severe weather. So right now, in and around Joplin, heading towards Springfield, we are seeing 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. And hail the biggest threat with this, as is some very big downpours.